Hello and welcome to another video on uh, linear programming, blending models. Uh, let's get right into it. Example 2. A gasoline company serves three grades of gasoline. They have 9,000 barrels of oil 1, 14,000 barrels of oil 2. Oil 1 has a quality grade of 10 and oil 2 has a quality grade of 3. Premium gas has a grade of at least 8. Supreme gas has a grade of at least 6 and regular gas has a grade of at least four. For each dollar spent advertising premium gas, this creates a demand of five barrels. Each dollar spent advertising supreme creates a demand of nine barrels. And each dollar spent advertising regular gas creates a demand of 15 barrels. Premium is sold for $50 per barrel. Supreme is sold for $35 per barrel. And regular is sold for $30 per barrel. Find a way to maximize the profit for this company. So, of course, we're going to start with our objective function, which is pretty simple, um, found in that last sentence. We're going to be maximizing profit. I'm going to set that equal to Z. And let's define Z uh, after we define a couple of our decision variables. So, of course, let's just go up here and have um, we have we'll call them ingredients. We have oil one and oil two. These are our components of each type of gasoline. Oil one and oil two. And we have our products. That's gonna be premium. Gonna be supreme. And then we're gonna have regular. So this is going to help us define our decision variables down here. So we've got our decision variables. Decision variables. We have x, call it i, j, represent the amount of oil I used to make product J. This is of course for I equal to 1, 2, and J equal to 1, 2, and 3. Go up here and we'll write out that our I right there is 1, 2, and our J right here is going to be 1, 2, and 3. Of course this means that X X11 is going to represent the amount of oil one used to make premium gasoline. Alrighty, and then also we need to know that we have another decision variable, the amount spent advertising. We're going to have amount of dollars spent advertising. product J. J of course being for 1, 2, and 3. Or for J equal to 1, 2, and 3. So now we can go up here back to our maximizing profit and we know that Z is going to equal x11 plus x21, so that's all of oil 1 and all of oil 2, creating premium. I'll multiply that by $50 per barrel. And we're going to subtract the amount of money spent advertising for that barrel. Now we're going to add up x12 plus x22. And that's going to sell for $35 per barrel. And we're going to subtract that by the advertising there. And then we're also going to add X13 plus X23. We're going to multiply that by 30 and subtract that by the advertising money spent on that regular product. Now we're going to go over and we're going to do our constraints. 
combat subject two. Now, of course, we looked over this in the uh, previous video, but I'll just write this out again. X11, X21. This is the proper ratio to make premium gas. So this ratio right here is going to be over X11 plus X21. And this is going to give us our grade. So this is going to be grade given for the gas over the total amount of gas has to be greater than three. So we're going to just go over here and write it in a more succinct fashion. X21 has to be greater than or equal to. We're going to bring over the total amount of this gas created and we're going to multiply that by 8. This of course is our premium blend constraint. Now we're going to go through and we're going to do this for R. Sorry, that should be... We're going to go through and do this for R supreme. It be X12 plus 3 X22. This is going to have to be greater than 6, given right here. I'll write this. times the total amount made of this gas. That's going to be our supreme blend. And then we're going to have our regular blend. It's going to be 10x13 plus 3x13. It's going to have to be greater than or equal to 4. It's going to have to be 1, 3, plus x, 2, 3. And so this is going to give So this is going to give our regular We also need to add up our total amount of each oil used. So there is a restriction on the amount of oil that we start with. So all of the oil, one, one, three. So all of the oil has to be less than, or all of oil one has to be less than 9,000. All of oil two has to be less than 14,000. So this is our inventory, or our starting constraint. Okay, now we're gonna have to devise a way to relate this amount of oil used with the amount of dollars spent advertising. So in order to do this, we have to know that X11 plus x21 is going to have to equal the total amount of demand created per dollar spent. So that's going to be 5a1. So this relates these two. It's saying that the total amount of gas, or of premium gas, is equal to the demand times or the demand created times the amount of money spent per dollar. We're going to go through and we're going to do this for each um, product. That's going to be equal to 9A2. Then we're going to have X13 plus X23. And that's going to be equal to 15A3. So this represents our um, advertising strength, and this will bind the amount of money spent to the amount of oil used and produced. Now, of course, we need to have X, I, J, and A, uh, A, J, 
has to be greater than or equal to zero, or i equaling one and two, and j equaling one, two, and three. And that, of course, is our non-negativity constraint. Thank you for watching.